Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome to another Indigo Junction how-to video. Today let's look at needle felting. We are going to cover three methods. Yarn embellishment, fabric to fabric, and fiber to fabric. After I finish the demo, be sure to watch a slideshow of these techniques on actual samples. Let's take a look at the tools we'll use. We will need a felting tool, either regular or pen style, a large or small mat, roving, wool or yarn, and a foundation fabric. Make sure you always choose 100% wool yarn or a blend with high wool content. All the tools we'll be using today are available on Indigo Junction's website. We'll give you the web address at the end of this video. Yarn embellishments is a dry felting technique that lets you apply yarn to a foundation fabric. It's a great technique to get you used to the stabbing motion used in needle felting. Begin by laying the foundation fabric on the brush mat, then loosely placing a few inches of yarn on the foundation in the desired pattern. Try to avoid stretching the yarn. Tack the yarn into position with your felting tool, stabbing here and there to loosely anchor it. You don't need to stab too deeply, just enough for the barbs of the needle to pass through the foundation layers. Put a few more inches of yarn on and continue stabbing. Check the yarn position and keep stabbing repeatedly until it is securely anchored. This may take a while, so keep at it. Occasionally, lift the foundation fabric to set, check that it's secure. The fabric to fabric technique allows you to applique without sewing. You can use purchase felt or make your own by shrinking wool yardage or using old wool sweaters. Place the foundation fabric on the work surface, then arrange the applique shapes in position. Needle the center of each shape to baste it in place, then loosely needle around the edges. Finally, needle over the entire shape until it is securely anchored. On larger shapes like this, make sure you use a multi-needle tool like the one we are using here. The first method we'll show involves stencils. For all practical purposes, there are two types of stencils. Purchase stencils, of which we have several at Indigo Junction, and paper, which you make yourself by drawing or tracing a shape and then cutting it out. In this video, we'll be using a paper heart stencil that I made. Place your roving on the foundation fabric, covering an area slightly larger than the pattern itself. Place the stencil on top of the roving. Needle the edges of the pattern until the fibers have compressed and you can see the outline of the shape. Remove the paper and fold excess fiber back into the design then finish needling the shape. Lift your shape off the mat to see how well the fibers have needled through the foundation. Continue adding fibers to create the desired look. The next fiber to fabric method uses molds and cookie cutters. Position the cookie cutter on the fabric and fill the interior of the shape with fiber. Start conservatively, you can always add more. Needle around the inside edge and then move toward the middle. Add more fiber in thin areas. The edges of the templates keep the shape crisp and well defined. You may need to use a smaller tool like we're using here. Finally, there's a freehand method. This is where your creativity can really shine. Try twisting, shaping, braiding, weaving, or rolling the fiber to create a design directly on the background then needle it in place. I'm going to make a leaf. I will lay the roving in place in the shape I want and then start anchoring it to the foundation material below. Remember, yarn can add an outline or detail to your design. That's it for today. You can find a PDF on the techniques demonstrated in this video at indigojunction.com. Here are some additional finished needle felting designs that were created using the techniques in this video. Thanks so much for watching.